Hey, what's happening, YouTube? This is DIY Nerd Man, just kind of coming at you with an update on how I use my Delta Pro paired with my smart home panel to avoid Southern California Edison's peak electricity pricing. Uh, here where I live from 4 to 9 p.m. during the summer, the price goes from 33 cents per kilowatt hour up to 52 cents per kilowatt hour. Uh, yeah, I'd like to avoid that. So what I've been, I've been doing, I've been messing around with some of the settings and kind of what I settled on for the charge rates. So I'll charge the Delta pros up to 90% using solar and then have the discharge level down to 10%, um, for some of those days when I have a higher usage going on from four to nine. Uh, a lot of days I won't get down anywhere near 10% by the time 9 o'clock rolls around. But um, yesterday, for instance, I did get, I got down to about 11%, I think, by 9 o'clock because that was, it was warm. I was using my AC all the way until 8 o'clock or 8.30. All right, right now I can see both of my Delta Pros are charging via solar. It's about noon, so they're I got about 450 watts coming into that one and 500 watts into that one. Um, so I'm going to wait and see if this will charge all the way up to 90% uh, by 4 o'clock. If it doesn't, then I'll consider adding a rule to the smart home panel. I can set a rule here in the automation to recharge the Delta Pro. So for instance, I could just say, yeah, from 9.30 to noon, typically... I'm generating more power with my grid tied solar than I'm using. So I'm, you know, exporting it back to the grid during those hours. And Edison only pays me nine cents a kilowatt hour and they only pay up to 240 kilowatt hours or so for the month. And so I, I pretty much always hit that 240 kilowatt hours over a month. So it's in my best interest to use that solar power rather than send it back whenever I can. Uh, so we'll see, I might end up setting a rule to charge the Delta pros, you know, at least at a, a low rate from my, from AC, which is coming off my roof solar panels. If I do it at the right time of the day, as long as it's a sunny day and here in California, it almost always is. So this is the past week, click on week of power station. So you can see Monday, 6.9 kilowatt hours. Uh, the power station's discharged, although on Monday I was also doing some uh, charging. So I think I did some charging from the, the grid, uh, but it was most likely excess solar anyway. But so you can see Tuesday, 3.8, 3.7, 3.7, yesterday, 4.5. So it looks like it should be easy over the course of a month to save about a hundred kilowatt hours of that peak four to 9 PM, 53 cents kilowatt hour power. So uh, theoretically that would translate into like a $50 a month savings. I mean, we'll, we'll see how this goes, uh, over the next couple months when I start getting my bills and I can analyze what, what the effect is of the, uh, peak shaving. I can show you kind of here, this is my end phase, my grid tied system. So this is today and this morning right around 10, I turned on, I have a portable AC unit and I figured I got all kinds of extra power. So let me just turn that thing on and kind of start to cool. I know it's going to get warm today. It's going to be over 90. So I might as well be using that power and, you know, super cool the, the room that it's in a little bit. I'll show you yesterday. So yesterday you can see it was around four o'clock. The, the Delta Pros kicked in but we were running uh, the air conditioner and the Delta, Bro Delta Pros back up the, uh, the fan unit for the AC. So it's about a 600 watt fan that runs whenever the AC is on. So you can see the excess usage there. And then I think that spike, we uh, turned on our electric oven. We have a 240 volt electric oven and that's not backed up. Um, I, I, I could back it up with the smart home panel. I mean, maybe I'll think about it, but I don't, we don't use it so often that it would be really worthwhile, I, I don't think. Um, but then you know, the day before, 
you know, this day was not as warm. So you can see, I mean, the AC, we're done with the AC by, you know, before six. And then pretty much everything was covered by the batteries up until nine. Uh, day before that, similar, you know, a little bit of AC uh, before six and then nothing until nine. So it's working out pretty well. Uh, so, yeah, I'm just waiting to see how it goes over the course of a month and uh, what kind of impact it has on the bill. So thanks for watching, everybody. Have a good one.